Welcome to the nightcap. Max on tap for the Nats against the Braves. Convincing win this afternoon. There's Dansby Swanson, but there's Ronald Acuna Jr. And with our young Juan Soto, two of the great young players in the National League. You're looking at two very bright futures right there. And maybe things brightening up for the Nats. Playing well, six and one homestand. And I'm sure it's a huge coincidence that Bryce Harper's really hitting and this team's really winning. Yeah, we've been talking about it all year as Bryce goes, so goes this ball club. And right now, he's putting the team on his back, plain and simple. I mean, the pitching's been great. It all starts with starting pitching. But when you talk about offense and what Bryce Harper's done the last 11 games, 405 with a 521 on base percentage. The last five games, how about this? 471 with three doubles, a homer, and a 571 on base percentage. But more importantly, he's keeping his head still. He's locked in. He's swinging at strikes. He's taking balls, and he's playing with passion and emotion, something we haven't seen for a couple years from Bryce Harper. So maybe in a little desperate mode right now, trying to become the leader on this ball club, not only leading with emotion, but leading by example, too. An extra base hit on the average every game, more than an RBI, more than a run per game. Bryce has got the whole offense circling around him right now. Then there's Max. He's won five in a row. His last loss was that narrow one to Boston, and since then he's been unbeatable. I mean, can you ask for anything more than having a split doubleheader, winning the first game, and having Max Scherzer on the mound the second game? When you talk about the Nats are four games over 500 for the first time since June, you got Cy Young on the mound against the Braves in game two. Here we go. 17 and six in his starts. And his last two times out against the Braves, he's been brilliant. 2 0, 15 innings, two earned runs, one walk, 17 strikeouts, 9 and 6 in 20 career games against the Atlanta Braves. The Nats could make it a changing of the guard type Tuesday if they can get the sweep behind Max coming right up. Brought to you by PNC Bank. There's no better time to act than today. PNC, make today the day. Hats off to you, Nats fans, who continue to get through the turnstiles here. The Nats averaging over 32,000 a game. This is home game, trying to make it seven out of eight on the stand. So after being in the 90s this afternoon, some clouds have cooled things off. Still quite muggy. It was 100 heat index at game time today. And here we go with Ronald Acuna Jr. leading off. And then four spots behind him, Kurt Suzuki, who continues to hit well against the Nats. Eight for 21 career against Max, 254 this year. And against Washington pitching 329. 
So he may be Max Scherzer's toughest matchup. We'll wait and see. First of all, it's Acuna. Start number 24 for Scherzer. Right underway at 7.05 on time. He's already reading minds. He threw a first pitch slider to Acuna Jr. He likes to swing at a first pitch fastball. So that right there. Fastball number 1226 from Max this year, averaging 94 miles an hour. Opponents hitting 198 against Max's heater, 52 for 262. 1 1 pitch. Home plate umpire is the new crew chief who had the day game off today. 30 year veteran Jerry Lane behind the plate. Greg Gibson, Vic Carapaza, Manny Gonzalez, first, second, and third. And him reaching, and there's a ball to the left side for Anthony Rendon. Uh, defense for the Nats in game two. Soto, Taylor, Harper, you're out here. Turner, Rendon, left side. Murphy, Zimmerman, right side. Matt Weeders behind the plate. That with a big tater the other day, swinging the bat well. And a game two start for Charlie Culberson at second base. He can play a a lot of different positions. Switch hitter Ozzy Albies started game one, had a couple of hits, and it's Culberson tonight. Three for seven career against Scherzer. So Max, 21st career game, 19th start against Atlanta. ERA just over three and a half in the 15 decisions, nine and six. Jammed him right at Bryce Harper. Two down. Rocket mortgage breakdown. Max Scherzer last 35 times out against the teams and are in his own division. And uh, it's not helping them the frequency with which they see him, is it? Unbelievable numbers. Walks, hits per innings pitched. One. Yeah, I don't think he's tipping his pitches. <laughs> He and Freddie Freeman have had some great battles. Freddie in game one today, one for four with an opposite field hit in the fourth inning, a single. 315 batting average, third highest in the league. And there are other career numbers against Scherzer. Two solo homers. Seven hits, some walks, half dozen strikeouts. Two and oh, and that one hooks foul. Deliberate on the call, Jerry Lane, strike two. Well, last three starts, Max is three and zero with a one eight, and the reason why is the fastball has been free and easy. You know, usually he'll sit 92, 93 early, but last three times out, he's 95 to 97 in the first inning, and it's not like he's trying; it's just jumping out of his hand. Tried to get Freddie Freeman to fish on two and two. Fastball up and in is where they usually go to get Freeman. There's a small hole in his swing right at the top of the strike zone on the inner half of the plate. And that's probably the only hole he has. The guy can hit. Just right underneath his hands, top left corner of the strike zone if you're looking from center field.
That's a change up that he fouled tipped into the mitt of Matt Weider. So Turner coming up. Max gets his teammates right into the dugout. Times hit the ball with authority nearly every time and then Ryan Zimmerman went back to back with Bryce Harper for home runs in game one today in the fourth inning got the Nats off to a fantastic start. So Ryan steps in at 238 10 for 28 piling up extra base hits Sean Newcomb fourth career start against the Nats. Yeah 10 and 5 3 2 3 6 5 2 55 the 25 year old takes the mound for the 22nd time this year. And we'll tell you about his last start in a second. Had a fade and Trey Turner was swinging there. Came within one strike of a no hitter last start on the 29th of July. So nine days rest between starts. Went eight and two thirds. One run on one hit. Struck out eight through 134 pitches last start. Gave him extra rest. Some off days. And here we go. First start after the near no hitter against the Dodgers. 25 year old native of Brockton Massachusetts. Originally drafted by the Angels. And he came to Atlanta in the Andrelton Simmons deal back in November of 15. So at that time the Braves knew they had a good young shortstop Swanson on the way. They traded maybe the best defensive shortstop in all of baseball and this is one of the young players they got paying some dividends now one and two to Trey and he takes the breaking ball up and away. Came close to hitting him. So Trey came into the series 343 against Atlanta. He goes three for five this afternoon. Adds to those prolific numbers. Two for five with a walk against Sean Newcomb. This one high in the air out to center. It'll play for Inciarte. Defense for the Braves in game two behind Sean Newcomb, Acuna Jr., and Ciarte Marquecas the outfield. Swanson Culberson up the middle, Camargo Freeman at the corners, and our old friend Kurt Suzuki behind the plate. He's a nat killer. Pitch around them. Avoid Kurt Suzuki. I don't think Max avoids anybody. Yeah, go after him with your best stuff, see what happens. Guys are trying to do against Juan Soto, but he keeps succeeding. On base 12 games in a row now. He's only been off of the bases about six times in his last 40 times out there. Perfect day today three walks, two singles, a run, and a run driven in. Yeah, you thought he might get benched because he passed Trey Turner. 
And a ball well hit to left. It's going and going. See you later. Soto, number 14. one nothing Nats. Another two strike homer for Juan Soto 14th of the year and I believe seven of those are with two strikes. And that was like a pull right handed hitter in it. A no doubter for Soto against traffic the other way. Unbelievable what this kid has done. I mean unbelievable. So there goes the no hitter there goes the shutout Juan Soto with number 14 the other way once again. Wow. There's Rendon. Nationals third homer of the day and the evening have 136 now in the top four in the league that look we just showed you that Ryan Zimmerman had on his face is the it's not that easy look Rendon with a rocket remember Ryan a couple years ago in the on deck circle after Harper homered he was like come on show it to me again so he spreads out and chokes up with two strikes gets right down in there if you haven't seen him hit before. But he doesn't cut down on his swing. He just gets in contact mode and fights you. This time he fights it out for a home run. Seven of his 14 with two strikes. Newcomb gives up his 13th homer of the year. Took him about two games to show us he belonged in the big leagues. The, the, the hitting coaches stay away from guys like Juan Soto. Hey, you just, you just keep doing what you're doing. I'm here if you want to talk. If not, just I'll be on the other side of the dugout if you need anything. I'll just pat you on the back and say, "Nice homer." Don't change a thing. Isn't it funny how for years now a guy hits a home run and we always get a shot of him right next to the hitting coach? Always. No matter what team it is, no matter where it is, that's right where they go. Two two. I think it'll be real interesting to watch Newcomb. A lot of emotion coming out of that game. Soto has taken him deep. As you mentioned, he hasn't pitched in a week and a half. Let's see how that affects him in his 41st big league start. And he goes off speed and gets Rendon for the second out. Good pitch. Monday April 2nd Bryce took this guy deep but this afternoon in game one facing a lefty didn't bother him did it. No home run number 27. A low miss light. watch out sir. Almost got the guy in the teal shirt Bryce was fired up too. the, the emotion he showed after that was he kept saying let's go boys as he got back to the dugout he is he's been playing hard he's been playing with passion it's fun to watch. Braves had just taken a one nothing lead Bryce tied it leading off the fourth Zimmerman then put one on the batter's eye and the Nats were off and slugging for the afternoon. The head's been real still the stance is quiet and he's seeing the ball big. Two for five a homer three RBIs against Newcomb. Back when they faced each other, Newcomb walked him twice. The home run was the second plate appearance in the middle. Ball two. Something just hit me. Do you remember when Juan Soto first got called up and Davey Martinez says, well, he's going to play against righties and we'll see against lefties? <laughs> that lasted maybe all of one game, yeah, if we'll that. Yeah when mom and dad used to say to us we'll see we knew what that meant yeah. forget about it. Uh, but that guy made it impossible for Davey to think anything other than put him in the lineup every day. Yeah that's the easiest decision Davey Martinez has to make. That and the guy in the box right now. Two two. 
Monday April 2nd at Atlanta. Nats are on their way to an 8-1 win. Enciarte could only watch it. And the Nats put two on the board in the first, three more in the second. And that time Newcomb got in on Bryce's hands. Juan Soto home run. Saying it for the 14th time this year in 39. I mean it seems like he should have 20 or 25 homers and 60 some RBIs by now. It's amazing. And the Nats on top in the nightcap with Max about to go back to work. DC Lexus Steelers they donate $250 to the Children's National Health System for the first 200 homers hit by the Nats this year Lexus experience uh, amazing Nick Markakis had a two hit day today with an RBI hundred and thirty seven hits most in the National League good match up here. And going back to the American League Orioles versus Tigers days these guys have seen each other a lot 58 official at bats. Oh and two. So there they are 17 hits five walks 12 strikeouts. Opponent sitting 111 against Max in an 0-2 count. Michael A. Taylor right there. Ball cutting in on the lefty. Four straight outs. Nets Plus memberships on sale now for next year. Join the best member benefits program in the big leagues. Best seats for the 19 season. Guaranteed access to potential postseason games. And you can save money compared to single game ticket prices. Become a Nats Plus member. Check out more nationals.com slash 2019. Next up, Kurt Suzuki. This year against the Nats, he's 7 for 22 with two solo homers. On the inside edge, Jerry Lane calls a strike. Jammed him. Turner. Five in a row. 
All right, as you enjoy Miller Lite, look forward to the hold true moments that will be later in this contest. A couple of early candidates. You just saw one, and now you're looking at Max. Who knows? If I had to pick one right now, I'm picking the first baseman. How about that? The Nats first baseman. Solid pick. Leading off the second. Big first game. Ball drilled into right and on a hop to Bryce Harper from Ender Inciarte. That's a right handed pitcher dropped down to the number six spot in the order tonight. And he immediately gets a base hit after having an 0 for 4 today. He's been scuffling and the Braves have been platooning him a bit starting Acuna Junior in center field against lefties. But he's aboard with his 10th career hit against Max and here's John Johan Camargo the third baseman. Minciarte 23 steals he's been caught eight times. Fifth in the league in bags. Pretty good on the changeup, just dying when it got to the hitter. Max is so good at controlling the running game by pausing at the top of the stretch. But I feel like to beat Max Scherzer, you got to take chances. And how do you take chances? You, you got to try to steal bases. You read balls in the dirt. You have to advance 90 feet any way you can against a guy this good, because the odds of three hits in a row are not not real great against Max Scherzer. So how do you beat him? I feel like you got to run. You got to force the issue. And that's how you used to beat Greg Maddox. You had to run on him because you weren't getting three or four hits in a row off him. Matt Weider setting up outside edge. Hot shot. Trey Turner to his right couldn't get there. Inciarte to third. Soto decides to not throw over there and into second wisely. First and third, two outs. A nice swing by Camargo, barreled it up. Trey Turner with a good effort, it just hit too hard. It was past him. Little inside out swing. Number eight hitter, Dansby Swanson. A base open but it's second. I think early in the game you go after him and then hopefully have a two out inning in the third. If it was later and you're thinking a hey, six or seventh yeah you're. Fifth or sixth, probably go for the. Guy on deck. On the inside edge. Then way out on the other side. So Nissan pitch cast. He'll throw a cutter to lefties, but a slider to right. He's watched the sweep on this. 88 miles an hour, and it was a strike for about 50 feet, and they just changed lanes big time. And here comes the crowd in 0-2 count. Now a lot of folks still coming in out of the center field gate. Top of the second, Nats have a one-run lead. Slider down Swanson a piece of it tricky short hop and Trey Turner plays it beautifully. Zimmerman on the short hop on the throw. And a well played one at both ends. Nice glove work right over the top let it rip short hop. And leave everybody stranded.
Twitter. You remember the first game, three hits, a home run? Well, if you don't remember it and you're at work, we're going to show it to you again. Boom. Bryce Harper went right in front of him, and then check it out. 106.7, the fan on the velocity, 25 degrees and 443 feet. Up on the turf in center, and he's heating up, and look how engaged the dugout is. The boys are having fun, man. 9 of 12, 6 of 7 in the homestand, four games over for the first time since June. They're playing good ball. A career RBI on a sack fly and a walk against Sean Newcomb. Thirteen point jump in the batting average this afternoon. Yeah, the key for Newcomb in that near no hitter against the Dodgers, Carpy, threw 134 pitches, 102 fastballs out of the 134. So he was just moving his heater around. Through 23 changeups with the heater, six curves and three sliders, but it was all about the fastball last start. That was the fourth time this year he went seven or more. One of those times against the Nats, May 31st, in Atlanta. Yeah, a ball game like that, pitches can really pile up on a guy. Remember, Johan Santana threw his with the Mets 147 pitches. Well, Ryan Zimmerman knew it was ball four before we did. He was on his way out of the box. Mercedes-Benz pitch cast. No doubt in his mind. Next up Murphy. By the way this is identical except for the catcher spot. To the game one lineup Davey threw out there today. It's Weeders for key boom this evening. First seven the same and. They put eight runs up on the board on 12 hits. Had the line moving a couple of times, a pair of four run innings. Murphy on a bouncing ball right side for Culberson. And they got him on the 4 6 3. All right, Nats fans, the 2019 Nats pet calendar is available right now. The 16-month calendar features your favorite Nats player and their pets. Proceeds benefit the Humane Rescue Alliance. You can get it at the main team store or online at nationals.com slash pet calendar. Are those really their pets? Or they just rent those for the shoot? I think that was Matt's cat. Cat's Matt. Cat weeders. Base is empty, two outs. Michael A. Taylor. You know, with Culberson and Swanson turning double plays, that was really a twin killing. <laughs> they could, I mean, switch positions and we wouldn't know it. No. Dansby has the sleeves. That's how I'm telling the difference right now. They could switch numbers, and I don't think a lot of people would know. Two and one. That was a four six three or six four three. There's Swanson, and there's Culberson. I think. Good change up from Newcomb. Two two to Taylor. Left side trying to cut it off Camargo couldn't get there Swanson gets it and counting the double play ball three ground ball outs for Newcomb the Soto Homer the difference after two.
back to Nationals Park. We've talked about the increased levels of perhaps energy and enthusiasm we've seen from the Nationals of late. Juan Soto was asked recently what he thinks is the biggest difference in this team over the last couple weeks. And he said he feels like the team in general is having more fun of late. I asked Davey whether he agrees with that assessment. And he said since the trade deadline, he's noticed a more relaxed team, a team that's doing the little things, playing like they're capable. A couple other players telling me they feel like moving past the trade deadline was kind of a key thing, that the uncertainty about the direction the team would go before the deadline was sort of hanging over them. Well, that's in the past now. They kept the roster pretty much as is, and we're certainly guys seeing a looser, maybe more energized group over the last couple of weeks. Well, Mike Rizzo said it all. He said, I believe in these guys, the organization, the ownership, thinking they had a good enough team to win it, and they're making great strides. Tonight could be a giant leap. In a game at 940 Eastern tonight Zach Grinke for the Diamondbacks Nick Pavetta for the Phillies who got walked off in the 14th inning in Phoenix last night. And the 0 2 pitch Max leaves it a little low to Newcomb two for 33 with the bat this year. So there's the potential to make that whole thing in the four back of the Phillies and possibly two and a half back of Atlanta a lot of game yet to be played top of the third here's the one two pass ball strike three call Max Scherzer second strikeout. Pits number 30 paint clearly right in the middle of the box not even close. Sean Newcomb saying I'll take that one too. First time around the order Braves go two for nine with back to back singles in Ciarte and Camargo last inning. Acuna Junior bounced out to Rendon to start the game. Twenty years of age signed with the Braves at the age of 16 out of Venezuela. And a ball drilled to right center. Taylor after it. Made it look a lot easier than it was. Two down. Good jump. Nice route. Real clean. Nice swing by Acuna Jr. Just going with it. The ball kind of tailing away from Taylor, but not a problem. If it's in the park, he usually catches it. Nice play. Charlie Culberson lined out to Harper first time. O oh two paint. Max Scherzer, 320th start tonight. Record 156 and 80. He really unleashed a heater up and in, and that had Charlie Culberson spinning out. He rarely does that. He rarely goes into right handers. I think he just got underneath the two seamer right there, just kind of rode up and in. But he can definitely use that to his advantage here with the slider on the other side. We'll see what he decides to do. Tough to stick your teeth in there after 96 whizzes by your head. This one hit down the left field line. Soto giving chase, and he will run it down. 
Great range by Taylor and Soto and for Max a one two three third he'll bat second and that's always an event coming up. College, this date in Nationals history, August 7th, 2014, and Bryce, bottom of the 13th. Ian Desmond had walked. He took Carlos Torres out the other way. Nats won at 5 to 3. They would go 15 and 3 during that stretch in August. On their way to the second NL East title. And of course, we all know now, four in the last six seasons. Off a pitcher who would later pitch briefly for the Nats. Hey, talk about that, Carp. And you feel like the first game of this doubleheader was like, hey, hello, don't forget about us. We're not going anywhere. We've won four of the last six, and we got some fight left in us. This ball club just has a different swagger about it, different attitude all of a sudden, out of nowhere. Yeah, Bryce only played 100 games that year because of that left thumb. And that was in August. His fourth homer of the year and a huge one for the Nats. This ball launched out to left by Matt Wieters with some carry on it. It took Acuna Jr. a moment to get a read on that ball. It ended up well onto the track. Here comes Max. The quest for 300. Only Cy Young Award winner ever to hit 300, Bob Gibson. 14 for 48, five RBIs, and his career batting average is just under 200. When do we ever talk about pitchers with hitting streaks? Come on, love it. Spits on the breaking ball outside 1 1. It's crazy to wrap your head around that, that him hitting 300 might be more difficult than Max winning a Cy Young. You'd think the Cy Young's the hard part. One and two. Crushing the Braves this year. Oh my, it's through. Max Scherzer is 15 for 49. I'm telling you, probably about 5.30 today, he was down the cage working on his swing. He has a routine. Every day he's not pitching, he goes down the tunnel around the second inning and he hits some tees. So when he's not pitching, he's in the cage early in the game. When he is pitching, he hits in the cage early and the determination for Max Scherzer the average now at 306 <laughs> and he has a six game hitting streak MVP anyone. I don't know. He disagrees with me when we have the talk he doesn't think that pitchers should win an MVP but when you're hitting 
and you run the bases and you're a baseball player every fifth day, I feel like it deserves at least a discussion. I think the Nats win in the NL East will determine that. How about that? If they win it, he might get some votes. Matt Scherzer is now career betting 201. Trey Turner, fly ball to center first time. Bouncing ball left side. Camargo couldn't get it. Then it got through to Swanson, who had the force at second. So a 6 4. Scherzer gets to take a seat. All right, Statcast AI powered by AWS. First inning, two strike approach. Spread him out, no stride. Juan Soto. The other way, put the trailer on it, the tracer, whatever you want to call it. 104.7, 27 degrees, 386 feet, and a big smile from the magic wand. A lot of speed at first. Newcomb pretty quick to the plate. Trey. Stole number 31 this afternoon in the sixth inning standing up. There was a man at third at the time and. That was number 31 out of 38. Going to pop him up in your screen there keep an eye on him. I think you go oppo your first time up. You could look to pull here if you want, Soto. Front door breaking ball, a slider. One and two. Or you just might not see a fastball the rest of the night. Christian Villanueva continues to hammer away for the Padres in the power department. Soto's average highest among rookies. Yeah, I don't know what those other rookies average is, but it ain't 319. That's what Juan Soto's at. Yeah, Vienna Wave is at 229, by the way, with all those home runs. Juan is fifth in RBIs. Impressive. Hasn't played nearly a full season like some of the young men have. Tight for fifth and hits. Second and runs. He's all over the rookie stat sheet. Two two. Steady diet of sliders here, right? I don't know that you can sneak a fastball by him even with two strikes based on the stance. Saw what happened last time. Throw over coming. B move. Six of his home runs are off lefties, and he's hitting over 400 against lefties. Did he go home plate up our Jerry Lane punches him out Suzuki with the tag. Runner has been called out and that's it for the Nats.
Max Scherzer a one out hit and into the middle innings now one nothing Washington. Brought to you by the all-wheel drive RAV4. Toyota, what drives you? Visit buyatoyota.com for great deals. She's walking her pet hyena. Check it out. I always said hyenas make great pets, don't they? Nice night for a stroll. And some guys stroll around the mound before they go back to work. So the starters led by Scherzer with the resurgent Roark the efficient Malone the dependable Helixson and Gio working hard to get things straightened out eight of their last ten as far as the decisions go. It's all brought to you by PNC Bank make today the day between games of the doubleheader today Gio was working out in the right field bullpen and Derek Lilliquist and Davey Martinez out there at the same time Helixson was also throwing on the side but looked like there was a pretty good confab between the skipper and the pitching coach and Gio. Two balls no strikes to Freddie Freeman who struck out ending the first inning first time around. Not to be forgotten the job Jeffrey Rodriguez did this afternoon. Five innings a run on three hits a walk three strikeouts got the win his first in the big leagues 64 pitches 43 strikes. And the bullpen solid after that Greg Holland made his debut had a one walk three strikeout inning. Max misses away off speed three and one. Freddie Freeman walks. Well first game in case you missed it Jeffrey Rodriguez was money first major league win he was pounding the zone early with fastballs 96 97 the curveball was the out pitch for the strikeouts. And then on top of it he got his first major league hit a double. Down the left field line and pointed at the dugout. As he was running to first so. Just a feel good game all the way around for Jeffrey and the Nats and there's the numbers there's the line 64 pitches he was wonderful in game one. Six foot six. A lot of arms and legs flapping at the hitters before he let it go and he was great today. Mark Hickus fly ball to Taylor first time. Scherzer delivers one right on the edge. 1 1.
Look for the ground ball here. Usually that's the change up. We'll see what he does. Curveball. Fifth best pitch in a 2 1 count. Three and two. They've walked him 24 times in this count, but he's done damage when they haven't. Freeman running. Nick Marcakis had a big time rip straight back and went. You know, I'm up here thinking is Nicker going to start Freeman in a 3 2 count? I mean, he's got a lot of confidence in Nick Marcakis to put the ball in play off a guy that's leading the world in strikeouts. Normally, yeah, 1 0 game, fourth inning, contact guy like Marcakis up. Heck yeah, you start Freeman. But with Max on the mound, you have to think twice. I didn't think he was going to start him. See if he does it again. 54 strikeouts in 428 at bats. Freeman again running. And a couple of rows in. Yeah, I guess it goes back to my point earlier about you got to make something happen against Max. And even if it's a strike him out, throw him out, at least you're trying. I like it. Pitch number eight, the Nissan at bat. Freeman running again, and Marquecas a base hit. Freddie Freeman will be the tying run at third base with nobody out as Nick Marquecas gets his 138th hit of the year, most in the National League. Well, put a star by that at bat for Nick Marquecas. I mean, very rarely do you see any hitter stay in an at bat that long with Max, let alone end it with a single. So got a fastball low line drive Freddie Freeman on the run easily into third and one of the best at bats we've seen off Max Scherzer all season long. Hurt Suzuki pop up to Turner short left field first time. Are you gladly trade the double play for a run here because Max is figuring his offense is going to put up another runner. Or more. But he also wouldn't mind a K here either. Throw one higher, swing at two high fastballs, climb the ladder. Ball was a little hard to see when it got above the arc of the lights here, so twilight time, 8.03 Eastern, top of the fourth inning. Suzuki definitely in swing mode. Max has a chance to expand the zone here all he wants. Swung at two high fastballs and chased the slider out of the zone. I don't think Max has thrown him a strike yet. I don't think he needs to based on he's showing you he wants to force the issue.
0 2 again. Ender and Ciarte got the first base hit against Max, two out second inning. Yeah, I think based on what you're seeing, he, he wants the fastball right about here. Maybe a little higher than that. See if he goes with it again and decides to go change up. Change up. Braves are making Max work all of a sudden. Marcakis eight pitch at bat after the Freeman walk. Pitch count started the inning 38 now it's 56. Swing and a miss. On a ball cutting away from Suzuki. Strikeout number three, huge out, fourth inning. I mean, you got a guy that's showing you he wants to swing. So, what do you do if you're a veteran guy and one of the best pitchers, if not the best pitcher in baseball? Don't throw him a strike. I mean, he showed you he was real anxious there. He really wanted to tie the game, and Max Scherzer took advantage. Only problem now is the guy in the batter's box is not a double play. NCR can run. Might have to do it again here. Good bunner too. NCRT takes one away. Fastball up, not reachable. 2 1. Climbing the ladder. Max was averaging just under 13 pitches per inning, first three. Enciarte check swing guiding one out ahead of it full count. All right do you start the runner first again. Hmm. I don't think the Braves got to this point in the season by being scared I wouldn't be surprised. Enciarte 62 strikeouts all year long. Tough guy to double up only four on the ground this year. 3 2 with one out. Yeah, I don't think he's going. Simply because the guy in the batter's box isn't a double play, so Max is pitching for the strikeout, working real hard here in the fourth.
There was a start that Max had early in the year at Atlanta. I want to say on April 4th where the Braves stayed in the at bats longer than you'd ever seen before and they're doing the same thing here tonight they're making them work 110 pitches in five innings that game. Popped him up. Murphy. Two down and it's Camargo next. He saw his reaction after the pop up he's fired up and he is trying to wiggle out of this first and third nobody out. Murph had a problem with where. Is that Greg Gibson at second was before that pitch. Vic Carapaza yeah. the second base umpire. I have Vic Carapaza on my scorecard it just didn't look like him. Yeah it is. So here's Camargo. Took one to the right of Trey Turner for a base hit first time. Change up close. Ball two. Do you think he wants the right on right matchup on deck. Dansby Swanson waiting. Inning started with Freddie Freeman walking went to third at the tail end of an eight pitch Nick Marcakis a B when he singled out to right center. On a full count. Suzuki struck out and Ciarte popped up. Three and oh to Camargo here. And he was swinging. On that three oh count cutter. That's where he could use a little help from his friends in the stands. You know, Max feeds off that stuff, and he is really working hard to get out of this jam. And they're starting to stand up and appreciate the effort. There they come in good fashion. Three, two, two outs. Marquecas will be running. And it's to Murphy went right by the feet of the runner and Max Scherzer an amazing battle to get three in a row after it was first and third nobody out.
car insurance, visit Geico.com. See how much you could save. Tom is trying to sweep, and I believe he swept the doubleheader on Saturday. Abe giving chase. Who's going to win it by a nose? Visit Geico.com. See how much you could save. Tall Tom Jefferson sweeps another doubleheader. His 19th of the year to tie George for first. 815, Teddy a non factor. Two all year. Here's Rendon, Harper, and Zimmerman to follow. Bottom of the fourth. Well, that was some pitching by Max, wasn't it? That's when we talk about the intangibles of Max Scherzer. I, I, you know, everybody go out there with his stuff and deal. What, what does he do on days when he doesn't have his A stuff? He's going to fight you. He's going to compete. He, that was all pure competition right there to get out of that jam. Because, you know, he's battling in six, seven, eight pitch at bats to, to fight through that. Those weren't just three pitch Sias like we've seen him do in the past. He, he fought every bit to get out of that, to keep it a one nothing game, and that's why he's so great. Yeah, a lot of pitchers would be short for the evening after an inning like that. With Max, who knows? He's at 71 on the pitch count. One nothing Nationals lead. Rendon struck out first time. Newcomb first three innings, 50 pitches, 33 strikes. And he gets in on Rendon with a fastball. Right center in Ciarte. Here comes Bryce and here comes Dan. Bob, we've been talking over the last handful of days about how Bryce Harper is using the entire field of late. Well, here are the numbers to back it up. Since the All-Star break, Bryce Harper now has 20 hits. Exactly half of them, 10, have been to the left side of dead center. And if we're going in thirds here, the opposite field, center, and the pull side, seven of those 10 have been to the opposite field. So Bryce Harper staying on the ball. Uh, FP talking about his balance, allowing him to use the entire field from pole to pole, and he's been doing that. It's a great looking number, isn't it? Early August, 70 RBIs. Bryce eighth in the league. And since the All Star break and all the emotion our fans sent his way during the Derby. Just quieter. Everything's quiet. Watch. See? I mean, he, he, in, you keep your head still and it's not going from down to up. You're not lurching out of the crouch as the ball's coming. The head is still in the decision making process much easier. You see pitch. Recognition right out of the hand. You see ball and strike a lot sooner too. 2 0. Strike call. Twenty seven homers now third in the league between Arenado behind Arenado and Carpenter who each have twenty nine. Suzuki put fastball away down twice and Newcomb shook off and then finally stepped off. Still doesn't want it. Still doesn't want it. Kurt Suzuki. He committed to your pitch if you're facing this guy. Kurt Suzuki's like, I mean, he's putting his finger in the dirt saying, We are throwing this pitch and Newcomb doesn't want to throw it. What are they going to do here? 2 1. Does he want to throw a slider? All right, here we go. Look at them holding the slider there. Wow. Yeah, they're not on the same page. They're going to talk about it. Did you see that? I mean, normally you flash slider. If he shakes, no, you put fastball down. Suzuki held three there for a good four or five count, saying, This is the pitch, dude. I want a slider here. And Newcomb telling Suzuki that he wants something else. So they've been disagreeing here the last couple of pitches, and now they're trying to get on the same page. Kurt Suzuki's like, Dude, I played with Bryce Harper. I know what to throw him here. But. In Sean Newcomb's defense, you have to be 100% committed to the pitch. So if I'm 70% committed to a pitch to Bryce Harper, it's going to be in the seats. So to get on the same page, be 100% convicted to this pitch and throw it. It's a good trip by Suzuki, and 
Good stuff between these two, not on the same page. Target away. And he goes with the heater to strike out Bryce Harper, his third of the night. So hey, Suzuki went out there and said, I, I like the fastball away. Newcomb told him, I don't want the slider. I feel 100% behind this heater. So he threw maybe a cut fastball that started on the outer half and ran off. And because Newcomb felt comfortable with it, that was the pitch that worked. If I'm not comfortable with the slider to Bryce. It's 2 nothing Nats. Rand Zimmerman walk leading off the second. Ryan hooks it well into left. And for Ryan Zimmerman, a four hit double header plus a walk. He's aboard with two down for Murphy. I don't think it was a stretch to say my pick to click was Ryan Zimmerman after three hits in the first game. And we've seen Ryan for so many years, he's streaky. And right now, all the parts are synced up and he's on time. Is he feeling frisky enough to ambush right here with two outs and steal second? Ryan had a very aggressive play this afternoon when he doubled and dove headlong into second base to beat a throw. Daniel Murphy, 4 6 3 double play ball, looking for his first base hit of the doubleheader. Double switched out of the game after three at bats today when Defoe came in on a pitching change. Look at that, 112 points higher when men are aboard. Taking care of pitchers off the stretch. So a couple of good takes and he's in the driver's seat three and one. Hey man every pitch that these guys see or every time. Every second they take is more rest for Max after working to get out of that last inning. So yeah, good call. Murph grinding out this at bat. Ryan with the base hit, and Max is in the tunnel resting. Swing and a miss. So Newcomb's. Pitch count getting up there near 70. He's battling. Max is battling. And the Soto homer, the difference.
Built for baseball, and that is brought to you by T-Mobile. How about Max Scherzer? First and third, nobody out. A walk to Freddie Freeman. A base hit by Mark Kakis. First and third, then he gets a strikeout, a pop-up to Murph, and then a ground ball with everybody here on their feet to Daniel Murphy to end the inning. So he's got the briefcases in his hands as he comes off the mound to a standing ovation. You can see him talking to himself. Max Scherzer, ladies and gentlemen. Three strikeouts, three ground outs, six flyouts. And that was masterful. Eight, nine, and one for Atlanta, top five. Swanson, Newcomb, Acuna. Rendon even with a bag at third. Swanson with two men aboard, second inning. A little low line drive out to Trey Turner. The Trey had to take on an in between hop and then fire to first to retire him and keep the Braves off the board. Strike call, 1 1. Pardon me, 0 2. They just dumping one down into the dirt. Smothered by Weeders and strikeout number four. Well, you feel like knowing Max that getting out of that jam pumped him up big time. Looked like a change up to Dansby for strike three. Got Newcomb looking first time. And also knowing Max, as soon as Juan Soto's home run hit the seats, he's thinking, I got enough, let's go. Thanks for the run, I got the rest. Right into the screen above the Braves dugout. One ball, two strikes. High chopper. Murphy. Pitcher running, two down. All right, everyone can use a good post game stretch. So Sunday, August 19th, Yoga in the Outfield presented by Kaiser Permanente. In case you pull something, they'll be here. All fans who purchase a Yoga in the Outfield special ticket receive a Nats themed yoga mat. So that's cool, and you can participate in post game yoga on the outfield grass. Nats Marlins 135. Get your tickets at nationals.com. August 19th, Yoga in the Outfield. Second time around the order Braves go one for eight with a walk. They were two for nine with two singles first time. Acuna up there hacking. He has bounced out to Rendon and lined out to Taylor. You know, there was a day when if you were 19 or 20 and you could really play, they seasoned you in the minor leagues until, you know, 22, 23, then call you up. Yeah. You know, the minor leagues used to be a tough thing to get out of. There was nowhere to go. But now, if you can play and you can contribute, it doesn't matter how old you are. And we're seeing it with the two left fielders here today. Or, yeah. Ryan Zimmerman, just what Max needed after that long fourth. A one, two, three, fast moving fifth inning.
access and manage your tickets, enjoy check-in offers, exclusive content, and much more. Download the MLB Ballpark app. 1-3-0 Nats, 0-3-0 Braves. So far, six of seven from the Nats, including the last three in a row. Batting average, runs per game, extra base hits, and the OPS on base percentage plus slugging a thousand. Now when you have a 25 run game in there that's going to help but hey take away that game and the numbers are still pretty impressive. Yeah, you can throw all the numbers you want up there they're playing good baseball playing yeah. clean baseball and I think that's a key two to one win on Sunday classic old time battle eight three with good offense this afternoon. Taylor to right. Off the end of the bat long way for Marcakis. Looks like the ball's on the ground and Taylor stands up into second. Good hustle. You hit that ball a lot of times as a hitter you're, you're kind of jogging until you see it drop. Michael A put his head down it seemed like right out of the gate. Good effort by Marcakis almost made a spectacular play as he slides across the grass. But Michael A. Taylor ran hard out of the box. He's thinking he's going to catch it. And right around here, he turns it on and gets into second. So a leadoff double for Taylor, a hustle double, if you will. And we'll see if Matt Wieters moves him over for Max Scherzer here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually your number eight hitter is wailing away because there's an automatic out on deck, but not tonight. Wieters fly ball to left first time. And a strike call. Good combination of getting the ball in play and great speed at second to try to get him over to third at least on the first out. But that one's going right to the shortstop, Swanson. All right, check this out. Is this any good? <laughs> He's six for nine with two outs in runners in scoring position. And he's thinking right now, where am I hitting this one and how am I going to beat the Braves? Let's see what he does. Five RBIs this year, 26 in his big league career. So hitting over 300 this year, over 200 career now after that opposite field single two innings ago. Freeman way off the line over there. And Max first pitch swinging will pop it up to Freddie. Two down. Inning is up to Trey Turner. Fly ball to center. Ground ball to short. So first batter third time around. And Sean Newcomb a young pitcher with a rare trait getting tougher as the game goes on. He's seventh in the league with his ten wins ninth in ERA three two three third. In opponents batting average at 203 coming in behind Max's 183 and Aaron Nola's 202. And Turner now a 3 0 count. Guy in deck can't hurt you. Homer to strike out tonight. Four pitch walk to Trey. 
for Newcomb's second walk of the night. Juan Soto is next. Well, he spread out first time up, Carp. Choked up and in an opposite field home on a fastball. Last time up, I don't even think he saw a fastball from Newcomb. It was slider, 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 slider. And I think Sean was thinking, okay, you fall behind a righty and trade Turner, who's a hot hitter? And even though Soto's taken me deep, I feel like I figured him out and I'm going to show him sliders again. Now, does Juan Soto make the adjustment and sit on a slider here after seeing only sliders a second time? We'll see. Cat and mouse game, game within the game. Here we go. Soto with his homer tonight has been on base 40 of his last 45 games 13 in a row. He was sitting slider I think. Saw a bunch of off speed stuff last time as you alluded and that's low and away one one curve. Another curve, maybe a slider, somewhere in between. Does it get a heater here? Love the cat and mouse guessing game. Suzuki set up away. It is a fastball, and it's on the edge. Called by Jerry Lane, 2 2. Mercedes Benz, pitch number four. Got to expand with the slider here away, you'd think. Off of that fastball away. Wow, Acuna Jr. is playing maybe 45 feet off the line in the left field corner. Yeah, there it was. Three and two now. Easy take. Got to be a 3 2 slider, doesn't it? At least you're thinking about it if you're one. Strike three call got him looking. 79 on the breaking ball. And Juan having a conversation with Jerry Lane. Ball caught really low. Still 1 0. Baseball about nine days ago when he was one strike away from a no hitter. Watch this beautiful sequence. Sean Newcomb, it seemed like, wanted Juan Soto. So showed him a fastball for a strike, then tease him with the slider, tease him again with the slider, get to a 2 1 count. Look at the paint right here 93 on the black. Beautiful pitches. 
This is the only one he kind of wasted. Then 3 2, he goes to the slider and nasty pitches. A good frame by Suzuki. So there's a reason why he almost threw a no hitter against the Dodgers. That was a beautiful sequence between Kurt Suzuki and Sean Newcomb. Sometimes, as a hitter, no matter how good you are, you have to tip your cap. Quite a battle. Max 81 pitches through five. Newcomb 83. Charlie Culberson, ball one, top of the sixth. He gets his hands inside that one, and this game is tied. Charlie Culberson homered in the ninth inning today against Wander Suero, and in the sixth inning of the nightcap, he ties it. Seems like he has a knack of keeping his bat in the zone a long time, and he's a good off speed hitter. It looked like a slider just kind of backed up on Max, and Culberson gave it a ride. His first career homer against Scherzer. Here's Freddie Freeman. And he was probably thinking, I'll get a fastball after that. Couldn't catch up. Some raindrops coming. Great changeup. Freddie Freeman gone. First out, sixth inning. And for Max, strikeout number five. Braves box, back to back NCR take. Camargo hits in the second. Max got Swanson. Freeman walk. Marquecas base hit. Back to back in the fourth. Nobody out. Max really went to work. And then Culberson gets him here, leading off the sixth. 1 4 0 each team, and the Braves and the Nats have each stranded four. Strike call, Nick Markakis. The remarkable consistency. 183, the overall opponent's average coming into this one. Just a little sprinkle moving through, nothing big. Chris Sale of the Red Sox, the only pitcher lower at 179. Max four and away the leader in the NL. Fastball on the edge, strike two. Yeah, skies didn't look too great. In the last hour or so before the game, John Turnauer's crew packed away the tarp, and here we are in the sixth inning. Marquecas right at Anthony Rendon, two outs. All right, everybody, don't wait for season eight. Come out to Nats Park for Game of Thrones night. That's Saturday, August 18th. The Nats face the Marlins, 705 start. First 10,000 fans are going to Michael A. Taylor Game of Thrones figurine. Fans will get a chance to take a photo on the Iron Throne. Visit nationals.com. Make sure it's the Iron Throne and not just the throne. Because that would be weird. 1-1 one, one ball game. Here's Suzuki. There's that fastball up and in by Max at 95. Part of the order, bottom of this inning. Kurt struck out on that pitch last time. Max had him 0-2, and he. Through one that ended up well outside.
Now here we go again with that two strike two out thing. Crowd on its feet two innings ago when Max put him away after it was first and third nobody out. Right off the screen in front of the Braves dugout. Some excitement in the ninth inning here today. Lightning around the ballpark, loud thunder. Wander Suero on the mound finally got things ended, and the Nats won it. That was the makeup of the last Atlanta series here. Tonight, the regularly scheduled night game. And here's the 2 2 pitch. They got him with the slider last time up. He's trying to throw the exact same pitch, make it look like a strike, break it out of the zone late. It's been a good ball game. Kind of how we thought it would be with these two pitchers. Michael A. Taylor. Max Scherzer is making his 24th start, and he just went at least six innings for the 23rd time. Rendon, Harper, and Ryan Zimmerman, 3 4 5 ahead in a 1 1 game. Soto number 14 Culberson number seven. That's the one one score. Then there's the pitching side where Sean Newcomb has pitched well. Max Scherzer battling his way. Not only on the mound but in the batter's box six game inning streak 15 hits on the year and 50 at bats. Newcomb 83 pitches 53 strikes Rendon swinging strike out fly ball to center. So he's retired Anthony and Bryce all four times. So the Nats box Soto one for three. Ryan Zimmerman a perfect night so far walk and a base hit to left. Michael A. Taylor doubled leading off the fifth. 
Nats couldn't get him beyond second base. And he gets the count in his favor. So you got a pitcher with a good changeup. He goes back to back changes and misses with them both. What are you looking for here right now? I mean, you got to be all in on a heater, right? And misses by a wide margin on the number one, three and one. Right hander Dan Winkler. Braves put two pitchers on the DL after game one today. Now it's three and two. Max Fried, who was hit on that line drive by Spencer Keyboom, and Shane Carl, who had a rough outing today, put on the DL with a right shoulder. They called up two pitchers between games a lefty McCreary, a righty Parsons. Full count to Anthony Harper waiting. 91 got him strikeout number six. When you're talking cars you're talking Coons highest career on base percentage plus slugging and only Joey Votto who just left town among active left handed batters higher than Bryce. Freddie Freeman in the mix followed by cargo of the Rockies and Matt Carpenter who had an amazing month of July. Ones and fours all over the scoreboard right now. Check it out. That's it. Zeros too. There. And then the count is one and one with one out. Suzuki appeared to pull it back in a bit. But Newcomb's had pinpoint control on that outside edge against some lefties like Soto and Harper tonight. Yeah, those are the things you point out when you've been here since 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's ones and fours on the scoreboard. Just staring at it. I don't think Davey Martinez was happy about the strike two call. So Bryce's battle commences here in a 1 1 game, bottom of the sixth. I know in hockey they used to call games like this four pointers. It's either two points you get or two points the other team gets. In baseball, it's a potential two game swing in the standings, win or lose. And then Bryce will stay alive, bumping one off to the left side. His swing looks like Bryce again. That doesn't mean he's going to get a hit every single time or hit home runs every night, but the balance after the swing, how quick the bat is, and how oh, he's just slow and early with everything in his preparation to swing. It looks like Bryce. Man, it looked like a front door slider hit into left for Acuna. So Newcomb getting out two key hitters, Rendon and Harper, 0 for 6. Ryan Zimmerman really on a surge here, Dan. And feeling really healthy, Bob. He's coming back from that oblique injury. And talking to Ryan after the first game of this doubleheader, the running was the last hurdle for him to clear when he was working back from that oblique. It still hurt him for a little bit when trying to run the bases, but he's we've seen a couple times you guys indicated early him really get it down the line to try and beat out something on the infield. We saw the hustle double in game one of the doubleheader. Ryan says he feels really healthy after the first week or two coming back, still kind of easing back into action, but he feels great right now. Walking a single tonight, batting average at 243. When his name was written into the lineup this morning, he was at 225. 
one one. So against Newcomb one for four and RBI two walks. To his left and it's off the glove of Swanson Ryan Zimmerman another knock and now on base six times today and tonight. Yeah five hit day for Ryan. Whatever Freddie Freeman said to Ryan Zimmerman Ryan just said thank you Freddie. <laughs> Maybe way to swing it save some hits for me. Stays through the changeup, got fooled a little bit but watch him extend. And just enough to get it past Dansby Swanson his fifth hit of the day. Doubles and homers and singles he's doing it all. Two forty eight the batting average now. Lefty lefty for Daniel Murphy. I mean Freddie Freeman got to greet Ryan a lot over the years when Ryan was playing third base yeah. and now that they're fellow first basemen they are baseball friends fierce competitors they want to beat the brains out of the other but total respect right there. They're both great dudes. One one two outs Murphy. High in the air to left. Acuna. So the Newton. Rather, pardon me, the Newcomb Scherzer battle continues into the seventh. 1 1. Authority of the Washington Nationals and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Washington Nationals. Amazing colors on the Anacostia tonight. And right next door, Nationals Park, top of the seventh, Inciarte, Camargo, and Swanson. Max Scherzer sitting on 98 pitches, 71 strikes. Change up right to the edge. Max due to bat third, bottom of this inning. Newcomb up fourth if the Braves get a runner. Rendon on the grass at third. 1 1.
seventy two percent strikes. Trying to go seven. For the thirteenth time this year. Ace they could put up a goose egg here in the seventh my ball club picks me up in the bottom half and I win game number 16 but more importantly our ball club sweeps a double header that's probably first and foremost on his mind right now. And Ciarte takes a heater 2 2. No better time to act than today PNC make today the day how about a Joe Ross update for the Gulf Coast League Nationals down in West Palm three innings couple of walks five K's come back soon Joe Ross older brother got signed by St. Louis this week I saw Man, Enciarte reaches manages to get a piece of it off the mid of Matt Wieters. Yeah, tie ball game. This is a big leadoff out for Max and the Nets. 23 stolen bases. Guy can run. Big pitch coming. Enciarte, 10 for 40 against him, career. Here's Nissan with the entire at bat. Ryan Zimmerman to a knee. Scherzer's there. He knew it. 3 1 against a speedy base runner. Balls hit hard. Ryan did a nice job of staying with it, and Max is always going to cover first. He never forgets. Did he get hit in the face with that on the hop? Is that why he's making that noise? I think that came up and got him right on the button. He's making that face like it hit him in the chin. Did it come up and bite him? There you go. Oh, yeah, it did. There's Camargo one for two. First pitch change up to get a strike. He's reaching down deep right now. Pitch number 110 coming. And number 110. As many as he threw in six innings against the Reds last time out. This one, backhand Turner plants and fires. Good play. Two down. All in one motion. That was the best part about this. He went to the backhand and got rid of it quick. Anthony Rendon said something funny but watch Trey Turner go to the backhand and all in one motion watch backhand stand and throw because he knew he had to get rid of it quick going to his right and Camargo can run a little bit beautiful play by Trey sneaky good play two outs bases empty and Dansby Swanson ground ball to short swinging strikeout Kane number four back in the fifth Max has five punchies tonight.
Wow, how much did that thing move from the start of the swing until the end? are telling the crowd to stand on up. Swing and a miss. Seven brilliant innings by Max Scherzer. 113 offerings. Now the Nats need to get him a lead and a W. break I think I counted 24 W's on the shirt play along at home if you have the DVR going and see if I was right or not but you can get that shirt on Friday August 17th for Hawaiian shirt night go figure that's presented by us Masson so 20,000 of those wear them to I don't know a party or something that's Marlin 705 visit nationals.com for tickets count the baseballs too Right hander Dan Winkler new come out after six innings and on his first pitch ball lifted to right by Michael A. Taylor. Need expert printing the UPS store has you covered together there's nothing they can't solve. Twenty eight year old right hander and it'll be his 50th appearance of the year. Not easy to hit thirty five hits in forty five innings with fifty six K's. Newcomb will get a no decision a run on five hits through six hundred two pitches. Here's Matt Wieters. So Ozzie Albies in the number nine spot to play second he'll lead off the eighth. Dansby Swanson double switched out of the game and Charlie Culberson to short. And that's the cutter. Throw a fastball 93, cutter 91, slider 83 miles an hour, and danger lurking on deck for the Nats. Yeah, Braves know all about Matt Adams.
Ryan Matson. Two and one to Weeders. I wonder what Max is thinking about the home run to Culberson or the fact that he didn't get a base hit with a runner in scoring position. But he <laughs> he was fantastic here tonight once again. He's won five straight. Needs a tater or a run for six. Had Weeders trying to drop one near the left field line. Fair ball. He'll round first and stop. Right near the line. And Adams is next. Yeah, hands inside the ball. A little flare for Matt Weeders. Just lands fair. So now the go ahead run on first with one out. And here comes Matt Adams. Matt Adams has only faced Winkler twice a strikeout and a walk. Brian Snitker going to go with the lefty Jesse Biddle. Now that Matt's been announced. Crucial ball game for both teams. Braves do not want to get swept. The Nats want to today and tonight. And this is taking a little longer than we expected. Thought it might be automatic that they come with the lefty. He gives over the ball, maybe stalling for a little biddle time in the left field bullpen. Lefty, lefty matchup, lead run aboard, bottom seven, one out when you come back to Nationals Park. Masson brought to you by Lexus. Experience amazing. And by Staples, the back to school specialty store. Constitution Avenue. Got to move fast tonight. Monument in the distance. Beautiful evening, 82 at game time. Cooled off a lot from the 100. Degree heat index this afternoon. Matt Adams is 0 for 1 career against 26 year old lefty Jesse Biddle, and the rookie makes his 38th appearance. Solid numbers so far. Yeah, but reverse splits, it looked like lefties were hitting 271. So fastball 94, slider 87, curveball 77. Top of the order next, and a strike to Matt. Who this year as a pinch hitter is five for 22 with four batted in overall 18 and 48 the power numbers. And yeah, lefties 267 off middle 16 hits three doubles four home runs. Righties haven't hit a home run off the lefty. 
Something's got to give here. 0 2 for Matt. Swing and a miss and a pitch diving down and away. Two down. Nats have another chance to get a run and a potential Scherzer win. It'll be up to Trey Turner, who's 0 for 2 with the base on balls. Max has pitched so deep in the games the last time he got a no decision was June 21st against Baltimore. Two one nothing losses and then five wins in a row ripped off since then. Strike call Trey Turner one and two. Side and low. That's only run tonight off the bat of Juan Soto. First inning, opposite field home run is 14th. And ball three, kept close by Suzuki. But Matt Weeters will get a Head start here with two outs and a full count. That's a big miss if Trey Turner hits a gap here. Eighteen doubles, three triples, fourteen home runs. Freeman hanging around the bag to keep Weeders close for a moment. And the off speed's going to punch out Trey Turner looking. No decision for Max Scherzer. No decision for Sean Newcomb. Two starters who pitch great. And that's it for the Nats in the seventh. is going to show you some nastiness from Max the change up to Freddie Freeman a little cut fastball right here maybe a slider to Kurt Suzuki and then another change up 
So seven innings, one run on four hits, six strikeouts, a standing ovation on the way out, and a guy that's screaming his head off. I would too if I was sitting right there. 100% fiber optic network, 100% phenomenal. Visit getfios.com. There's the numbers. 113 pitches, 83 strikes, seven innings for the 13th time this year. That's seven or more. It's gone eight or more four times with a complete game. And now it's uh, the bullpens to decide. Ryan Matson against Ozzy Albies. Albies one for four against Ryan. Top eight, here we go. Pulled the string on him on the first one. He batted second today, 0 for 2. Then he doubled and singled his last two times up. And this one out to center for Michael A. <laughs> Top of the order, Potomac Nationals. Weekend series late August. On that Friday, you can get an autograph on WWE night at Northwest Federal Field at Fitzner Stadium in Woodbridge, Virginia. Saturday night, first 1,250 fans take up a Tanner Roark and American Eagle Team USA Championship clinch bobblehead. Three in a row for Tanner. He's been fantastic. Roark will next pitch at Wrigley Field, not far from Wilmington, Illinois. Is that where it all started for Tanner? Remember when half the town was in the bleachers? Yeah. First time we went there with Tanner? Yeah, I know his high school colors are purple and white. That's all I know. Because that was right center field in Wrigley Field. Family, friends in the corner tap, right? Yeah. Made a road trip. We need to hear from the corner tap. We haven't heard from them in a while. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. Tommy Malone, Mike Fultonevich tomorrow night. And then Gio in the 105 Facebook game against right hander Anibal Sanchez on Thursday. And just so you know, we will not be televising on Thursday. That'll be exclusively on Facebook with some familiar faces, by the way. I'll be on there. I'll unfriend you. Strike three call Acuna frozen two down might have been up Brian Madsen the Nats will take it and it seems like Jerry Lane is definitely hunting strikes right now all right Washington area Toyota dealers help children and their families by making a forty four dollar donation to the children's in at NIH for every strikeout by a Nats chunker this year. Here's Charlie Culberson who tied the game two innings ago with a leadoff homer right down the left field line against Max after hitting a long fly ball similar location caught by Soto on the run back in the third. Culberson against Madsen Carrero for one with a walk. Ryan has come out throwing strikes. Nine pitches he's missed with one. What's wrong with him? It looks like Jesse Biddle will stay in because Soto leads off. Then Rendon and then the lefty Harper bottom eight. Ryan had a little move toward the dugout. Fans over on that side. Couldn't see it outside. A lot of umpiring over there, one and two. Pitch number four. 
But they've been trained tonight that Jerry Lane's going to ring you up. So I think if you take anything <laughs> with two strikes, it's a strike. Jerry's not afraid right now. Change up up. The kind of inning you want from a late inning guy. So it's Soto, Rendon, and Harper. Bottom eight, we're still tied. the game we're going all the way back to the first inning Juan Soto with an oppo home run heard your local Ford dealers for great savings on cars trucks and SUVs seventh home run out of his 14 with two strikes six against lefties and the truck wants another one right here so does the first base dugout so does Juan Soto so does most everyone at home and there's your game summary all tied at one as we go to the bottom of the eighth. Both starters outstanding. Max through seven, Newcomb through six. Soto, one for two with a homer, two RBIs against Jesse Biddle. Juan struck out looking last time, didn't like the call. And let Jerry Lane know it so. We'll see if the strike zone grows here. Calvin Herrera for the ninth. And what a ninth it'll be. Freeman, Marqueca, Suzuki. Soto strikes out for the third straight time. Not sure that's happened all year. He's getting tough pitched like you would think after a home run his first time up. And the ticket's been curveballs and sliders away. Pretty good pitch. Anthony Rendon one for two with a walk against the lefty who has struck out all three batters he's faced got Adams Turner looking Soto looking Hooking foul. Allowed strike one. That's just a duck hook into the trees. It's going to cost them a stroke.
And a breaking ball in on his hands, 2-2. And Anthony will pop it up to the right side. Freddie Freeman drawing a bead on it. Bryce Harper. 0 for 3 career against Biddle. And a big lefty lefty matchup here. Yeah, Freeman Marqueque is due up in the ninth for the Braves, so. See what Bryce can do here. Can he go quick strike offense here with two outs and nobody on? So Bryce faced Newcomb tonight three times. Ground ball, strikeout, fly ball to left. Saw this matchup coming up over the weekend and thought it would be a good one. And Scherzer and Newcomb lived up to it. Now the bullpen's battling well. Everybody pumping strikes, and it's 0-2 to Bryce. Going right after him with the heaters. Great take. Two curves in a row. Does he triple up or go back to the heater? If you're Bryce Harper, you're thinking about that mid 90s heater. Let's see what Kurt Suzuki decides to do. They're tripling up. Oh. Got away with one. Slider is supposed to be down the way. Watch where this one ends up. Hmm. Two outs, bottom eight, two two to Bryce. And Biddle throws it by him. This guy strikes out four of the five he faces to the ninth. Herrera with big Braves hitters coming up.
division rivals who have gone at it over the years and they've gone at it this year. Braves lead the season series 7 to 6 3 3 in this ballpark and it's now Herrera got to hold him and hope for maybe some walk off magic. Yeah, obviously a big top of the ninth in a 1 1 ball game when you have Freeman Marquez and Suzuki do up so a righty facing two lefties that absolutely rake lead off man out Freddie Freeman a big first out here in the ninth. Nats won a one run game on Sunday that hadn't happened in a while and now here's Herrera it's number forty six. Freddie Freeman one for three career against him. Oh for two with a walk tonight. And now one for three with a base hit the other way. Pretty much a carbon copy of the one he had in the fourth inning of game one this afternoon. Markakis is next. And Markakis, the former Oriole, six career matchups, official at bats against Herrera with two hits. Freeman has seven steals. I don't think he's going anywhere right now. We'll see. AJ Minter's their closer right now. Lefties eight out of nine in save situations. Yeah, just the token throw over, just in case he's thinking about it. Going. And Markakis will single to left. Freeman stops at second. These guys were on back to back in the fourth. Max pitch, pitched around the walk in the base set. So it's now Kurt Suzuki and then the lefty Enciarte. Suzuki a decent bunner. I wouldn't say a good bunner. And I think he would bunt it to Ryan Zimmerman at first. Normally in this situation, you want to make Rendon field it. And is he bunting? You know, back in the day, this was a no brainer right here. Tie game, one to one, top of the ninth, first and second, nobody. We'll see if Kurt Suzuki does it. Lefty on deck at Inciarte. Interesting matchup number. More importantly, a lefty in the hole in Camargo. Line drive, and Rendon reacts to pick it off. The hot corner blazing right there. What a reaction. In for the bunt. As close as he'll ever be on the line drive. Suzuki with a bullet, and Anthony Rendon ready for the baseball. Watch this. On your toes, kids. Movement into the pitch is why he got to this. He wasn't flat footed. He was on his toes. What a play. In Ciarte, one for three is next. He's 0 for two against Kelvin. And that line drive is right on the right field line. Freeman scores. Markakis to third. Bryce a bobble. And a second run coming home. 3 1 Braves. And Ciarte ends up on third. Yeah, four hard hit balls. Well, Marcakis is maybe not hit hard, but 
And we said there were some tough outs coming up in the ninth. So Freeman a hit, Marquecas a knock. Suzuki with a bullet, and now Enciarte with the ball down the line. They're scoring at a triple, and Bryce Harper did all he could after hit the wall. And Paul Lassard, head trainers on the mound right now with Kelvin Herrera. Is he hurt? A blister issue? I don't know. He's leaving. Third of an inning, three hits, two runs to this point. Justin Miller's been out there with Sammy Solis. Camargo, as FP mentioned, the lefty, then the pitcher spot. So the Braves have come up big here in the ninth. Bullpen further action in a moment the Nats down by two. On third after the triple. Here's what happened to Herrera. Not sure. He calls Matt Weeders out after the triple, the two runs. And I read his lips right here. He says, My arm. Something about my arm poppy is what he said to Matt Weeders. So we'll see. Didn't see anything on the pitch. There was two change-ups to NCR to 89. And my question is, were they change-ups or were they fastballs? And if he was hurt and those were fastballs, then you got a problem. Ciarte a two for four night. He was 95 to 97 early in the inning, and then 89 there to Ciarte. So I don't know what happened. Justin Miller pitched two thirds of an inning today, scoreless. He came in in the sixth inning with a man aboard a run in, got Adam Duvall and a fly ball and Camargo on a line drive out to Bryce Harper. So he'll face the left-handed batter again here. Camargo 0 for 2 career against him. Runner at third, one out, so now the Nats need to keep this at two. They're going to walk Camargo here. Right handed batter Duvall on deck in the pitcher spot. Yeah, there he goes. So it'll be a righty righty matchup. Adam Duvall against. Justin Miller with that fly ball out today one for three career. Former Red. And the slugger obtained at the trading deadline the Braves sent three players to Cincinnati.
And the fastball powdered right by him. Yeah, I see that number in the Braves jersey. I think of Dave Justice. And I can't look at it without thinking about Dave Justice. He was a good player, real good player. He could rake. O2 with one out. As we talked about Duval this afternoon, low batting average, power numbers 15 and 61. Had an 0 for 3 day today, and he's batting 204. Swing and a miss. And a big strikeout. One out to get to keep it at two into the bottom of the ninth. Last game of the series with televised, seven o'clock tomorrow night. Tommy Malone, seven innings and earned run, nine strikeouts against the Mets, and in two starts with the Nats, no walks, 15 Ks in 12 innings. Mike Fultonavich, an all-star, eight and seven for Atlanta. Four and four career against the Nats. Ozzie Albies now. 0 for 1 career against Miller. It's important to keep the deficit at 2. You just never know. Minter blew a save recently, so. Well, he's got great stuff. He's still got a chance if it's 2. You don't want to go any further than this if you're Dave Martinez. One ball, one strike. Miller one ball two strikes puts out the fire they put Camargo on he struck out to Ryan Zimmerman leads off bottom nine having a great day and night Murphy and Taylor after him.
Hold true moment. We told you in game one that Ender Enciarte is one of the hottest Braves hitters coming out of the All-Star break, and he got the biggest hit of the night so far. A one-out triple down the right field line that would score Freeman and Marcakis and give the Braves a two-run lead. Nats with three outs left to play with, but a clutch triple by Ender. Yeah, so he has a two for four night. A.J. Minter, as F.P. mentioned, last outing two days ago, blew a save against the Mets. He's eight out of nine. Second round pick back in 15, 24 years of age, and his 50th appearance. Strikeout guy, 52 Ks in 45 innings. Ryan Zimmerman, 0 for 1 career against him. Yeah, fastball 97 on average. He'll cut the fastball at 92, and that's it. Fastball cutter. Two bloops and a bomb is what Davey Martinez is looking for. Target away on 0 1. He paints it right out there, strike two. Jerry Lane has been looking for strikes all night. Zimmerman a rocket down the left field line. Three for three with a walk in the nightcap after three for five with a homer two doubles in game one. Six for eight on the day for Ryan Zimmerman folks. You know he's streaky we told you at the beginning of the game. He would be a good choice for the Miller Lite hold true moment. Maybe we did it too soon. Let's see game on this one's not over. Ryan Zimmerman gets the Quantum Leap Award for the day, starting at 225. And now he's up in the mid 250s. Make it 253, and here's Murphy. Daniel 0 for 1 career against Minter. Ball one. You don't know how much you miss Ryan Zimmerman until you see him come back and hit the ball like he is right now. Such a good hitter. Murphy stopped in time, 2 0. Oh. And this one popped up short left field. Camargo well, ran to a spot where he thought the ball was, and he was way out of line. And then the shortstop, Culberson, got over to grab it for the first out. Now it's Michael A. Taylor. Dangerous hitter right here, and a good matchup for Michael A. He can get to that cutter. He's a good high fastball hitter, and he can turn some cheese around. And everything he's going to see in this at bat, Carp is going to be firm. Whether it's the cutter or the fastball. Taylor one for three tonight. Because Miller kept it at two, it's a tying run in the box every time here. And that's way inside. Taylor got hit. He's down to first base. They'll send Ryan Zimmerman back to second on the dead ball. But Michael A. Taylor took one on the boot right there. Two on, one out. Yeah, two on, a guy that can steal some bases, too, so here we go. Ryan goes back to second, so check that in the excitement.
Tying runs aboard. So Matt Wieters. Matt not a ton of right handed at bats this year. He's one for three tonight. Came in five for 24 right handed. And he had a big one here on Sunday swinging from the other side. Leg kick upper tank shot. And I'm all for that from the right side right now. I'll just say it. Get that leg up early and let her rip. Mark Reynolds on deck. Two on one out bottom nine Nets need a couple. I've always thought Matt's swing from the right side is a little more natural than his left handed swing. He seems to like the fastball better right handed than left handed. <laughs> 96. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> yeah, that was a walk em off swing right there. Check this swing out. Gear up and let it rip. Maybe a little too hard right there. Maybe the hardest I've ever seen is Pat Weeder swing. All right. I like it though. He's got the game face working. He's been clutch. Inside two and one. All right, you can see the same swing here. Nats have only used Matt Adams off the bench so far, but Reynolds awaits. Matt pitch hit back in the seventh. Mark Reynolds, by the way, decent success against Minter. And that's a line drive and doubled off of second is Zimmerman. And the game is over. Unbelievable. A 5 4 line drive double play. I mean, that ball's down the corner with Michael A. Taylor's speed. That's a tie ball game. And on the other side of the coin, the game's over. I mean, that's hooking down the corner. Taylor's going to score on that. You know, Bob Henley's going to send him. And even though the Braves are playing no doubles, that ball had been rattling around down the left field corner, and we would have had a tie ball game. Instead, it ends, and the Nats died hard. That was a good baseball game. Matt Weider scorching it. And the Braves, thanks to the Inciarte, triple in the ninth, and some luck in the bottom of the inning, will escape with a split. So the Nats' three game winning streak comes to a close. It's still a six and two homestand and tomorrow night it'll be Tommy Malone against Mike Fulton Avich. that's extra 630 first pitch 705 this has been a presentation of Madison stay tuned now Johnny and Ray ahead frustrating story to tell Braves three Nationals one so long for just a while